Taxes are essential for our life in society. Countries rely on tax revenue for their fiscal planning in order to make important investments in key aspects for citizens such as infrastructure, health and education. Despite their importance, more often than not, people don't like to pay them. Tax fraudsters make governments lose millions of dollars. Many strategies exist to avoid paying taxes. For example under declaring. This is when a person declares less money than he actually earned and so his tax liability is reduced. Tax authorities are given the task of finding these fraudsters and usually rely on experts' intuition. Random auditing is a way of discouraging tax frauds, but this approach is not cost-efficient at all, since auditing some types of taxes can take up to six months or even a year. Therefore tax auditors are overflowed with work. In Colombia, the city of Bogota is growing fast. New constructions are being made everywhere. When finishing a project, constructors in Bogota must pay a tax based on the reported final construction cost. This tax is called the urban delineation tax. Sadly, many of them under-declare the cost of construction and end up paying less money than they should. Caesar, the urban delineation tax auditor, has too many buildings to audit, and doesn't know which to audit first. Since auditing a building can take up to a year, he should only audit the most suspicious constructions. To make things worse, Caesar doesn't have an historic data set or labeled data that allows him to use supervised learning. How can data science help Caesar the auditor? Even though we don't have an historic data set to help us find patterns, information contained in the tax declarations can help us solve this problem. Some taxes, including the urban delineation tax, posses features that describe them. For example, tax declarations are accompanied by the area built, the number of habitable floors, amongst others. An intuitive approach to tackle this problem is to assume that similar tax declarations should pay more or less the same amount of money. To find suspicious declarations we apply a two-step process, first, using an unsupervised machine learning framework, we can make groups of similar buildings. Then, we observe the distribution of the amount of money declared in each group, and we mark as under-reporting the constructions within the lower tail of the distribution. With this classification in hand, Caesar the tax auditor can focus his work on the most suspicious constructions, increasing the chances of finding under-declaring tax payments. For more details, come to visit our poster presentation.